For today's writing lesson, our learning intention is I am learning about digraphs. And to be successful, I can say the sound of the digraph, I can identify the digraph in words, and I can use the digraph when spelling words. So let's just review what a digraph is. So a digraph is two letters that work together to make one single sound like sh, s, h, make sh, as in shell, or fish. Now a digraph can be, make up of, be made up of vowels or consonants. Remembering that a vowel is a, e, i, o, and u, and the consonants are all the other letters in the alphabet. So, today we're going to review some digraphs that we've been looking at. What digraph is this? C, H. What sound does it make? What digraph is this? TH. And what sound does it make? Now this is a tricky one because TH can make two sounds. Th. Th. That's the first sound. And the second sound is th. What digraph is this? C, K. And what sound does it make? Great job. What digraph is this? N, G. And it makes what sound? Mm. Mm. What digraph is this? That's right, S H, and it makes what sound? Shh, well done. Now, we have two pictures here. Can you tell me the digraph that are in the words of these two pictures? The first picture is a ship, and the second picture is a shell. That's right, the digraph is sh, which is made up of s, h. What's the digraph for these two pictures? The first picture is a ring. The second picture is a king. Do you know the digraph? That's right. Mm. NG. What about these two pictures? What are the digraphs on these? Great job. Ch, ch for chair. Ch for chips. What do you think the digraph might be for these pictures? We have a bath and we have a path. That's right. TH makes th. It's the soft sound this time. For your activity today, 
you have a game in your green pack. It's called five in a row. Now you have the sheet there, so you'll need something like a cap off a bottle or perhaps a coin to use as a counter. And you have a spinner. Now I've already cut it out and put a hole in the middle that you can stick a pencil into it. And you will spin it and whatever side the spinner lands on, you have to see if you can cover a word with that digraph in it. Now it's a little bit like noughts and crosses. You're going to have to have a few counters, bottle caps or coins to see if you can win against a partner and get five in a row. Have fun. Take a photo of you playing your game and tell us what was the digraph that you got five in a row for.